I really wish that I'd had these for my children when they were small and I really recommend them. As a counsellor working with children who often have a lot of troubles, uh, these sorts of things can be really helpful. Hi everybody, it's Sean, the children and teenage counsellor here. Remember me telling you about Willow the Wanderer and his wonderful adventures? Willow the Wanderer was a little donkey who went on a quest looking for happiness and he went all around the planet and he saw some amazing creatures and some wonderful sights. He went to the sea, he went to the mountains, he went to the forest, and he saw some really unusual creatures. He went to the sea, but he didn't find anybody that could tell him where happiness lays. And he didn't find it himself. And towards the end of the story, he realizes, you know what? Happiness actually is not in other people or outside of myself. Happiness comes from the inside out, not the outside in. What a great story to teach our children. The second one in the series, Honey Time, I love this. This time, Willow, once again, energetic little donkey goes running around the universe, trying to enjoy his life, taking in everything that he can see, making the most of his world, seeing all these wonderful creatures. But he goes so fast that he doesn't really stop to smell the roses and enjoy himself until he ends up in a big blob of honey and he's forced to slow down and take a breath and center himself. And so he becomes still and he really starts to appreciate everything around him and stay present and live in the moment. Great story, great message. The third one in the series, Willow the Wanderer Space Odyssey. Illustrations in this are magnificent once again. This time, Willow decides that he wants to find someone else who looks like him because he feels like he's a bit of the odd one out. So he goes looking around the world, he rushes out of his house in the morning and once again, he goes looking and he sees all these wonderful creatures, but none of them look like him. And then he gets beamed up into a big beam of light and he ends up miles and miles and miles away from the earth. And he can look back onto the planet and look what he sees. He sees the world in all its beauty with its volcanoes and its interconnected seas. And he realizes the land, the sea, and us as people, we're all connected. So we might be different, but we really are all one and the same, belonging to this beautiful planet.